Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for TFNN. I wanted to start off today by taking you a trip over across the old Pacific Ocean to China. And as you can see here, we had an 8% move today in the FIC, the uh, FXI, the Chinese stock market, 8.5%, folks. That's equivalent to 2,800 Dow points in one day on the upside. And you can see this happened once before. Several years ago, there was a big uh, run-up. And uh, we're having the same type of run-up right now. And we are having an ABCD pattern locked in here also. But this is a big deal. I want to specify one particular uh, component of the commodity markets, copper, when we finish this. But I wanted to take this and then go over across the South China Sea. And we're going to look at Hang Seng because it's also affected by that. Even though the rules are not, the people that buy there also buy in Hong Kong. And as you can see here, We've completed the big ABCD pattern here as of today, 21,490. It closed at 21,113. So the fact that we have this incredible volatility is really absolutely mind boggling. But the one thing you want to keep in mind is if these people do not buy, they said, if you're going to be buying, we're going to be doing the lending. So if they don't start buying, then that's when the trouble could possibly arrive. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take it take a look at the old uh, copper market let's get see here it is right here you will not believe what you're going to be seeing here in copper today um, this is the daily chart and this is this is a bad tick folks let me let me get this one out of here because it's the wrong day and there's where we are today look i want to show you the swing that we had in copper i'm just going to go down to a smaller time frame and you're going to see we had a, a 30 cent swing up to the upside Oh, excuse me, a 25 swing to the upside and 35 to the downside. Folks, that's a $10,000 swing in copper. And as you can see right now, it's making a small uh, ABCD pattern in here, but there was no 382s uh, through this at all. But the fact that have this much volatility in one of the most important uh, components of electricity and building and stuff is really, uh, it's really quite amazing. You'd think it would be higher, at least on the day. And of course, it's now down on the day. Uh, three cents after being up 25 cents so that's a a huge swing as we're watching these things unfold okay and also we're having a, a little we're having a 12 dollar rally back in gold right now we hit that 7 uh, 2708 level on uh, wednesday excuse me on thursday and we broke uh, 50 uh, well yeah 55 dollars down to 26 50.